What's going on guys, welcome back to another video in this one. If this would load sometime today, that would be nice. I'm going to be showing you how to make this interesting modern house. Now, this requires 11 materials. Now, if you count them up, you only see 10. That's because there's a secret material. I'm not going to tell you what it is, though. And the white sag is completely oak, because why not? Okay. So we're gonna grab, ooh, I have, what is this? So I'm gonna get nine materials. We're gonna put two of them away and we're gonna get the other two. So materials you're needing are gray concrete, white concrete, light gray concrete, black stained glass pen, black stained glass block, white carpet, Quartz slabs, if I can find them. Quartz stairs, shut up, phone. Um, can't think of one of the materials. I can think of the one. Ah, yes, dark oak. <laughs> and put away quartz slabs and get out. Wait, we need two more materials, don't we? Yes, we do. What? What am I missing? I am getting salty. Whatever. Oak fence. Or any material. Oh, wait! Put away quartz stairs and get string. Because that's a thing. I hate you, that line. You're gonna be front and right hand corner and count inward left diagonally and place a dark oak. Move backwards by 22. 23. And come to the 22nd block that you placed, which would be the second to last one, and move across the back of the build with 19 white concrete. Man, I came in that so strong, it's 18. Now move forwards with um, 18 white concrete. Twenty. God dang it! My numbers work for me. So twenty. Now move right by two. Then place two like white concrete. Right by three. Backwards by one? Question mark. I'm gonna check it because I don't feel like getting my pictures up. No, it is backwards by two. Then place, nope, it's backwards by one. Three light gray concrete, two white concrete moving backwards and move across till you connect to the left. There's your shape. Now fill in this empty square with light gray concrete. By the way, the blue concrete was this porch area, the outline of it, so that's, that's that. Oof, what? Oh, god dang it. So it was too, okay. Come back to the white side and destroy the first like white concrete, place it with a white concrete, move it backwards by one. There, that's what it should look like. I'm getting spammed. Okay, take this white concrete, move it right by, what is it, five? Yes, forward by two gray concrete. Come back to the first gray concrete that you placed. Mm, throw your, okay. Actually, come to these two light gray concrete here and place string in front of them with white cop, cop carpet on top. <laughs> in front of this, you want to break the two blocks that are in front of the string. And you want to place oak fence or cobblestone wall or anything like that. I believe cobblestone walls would work. And place white carpet on top. This way you can actually walk up to get in the, to get inside instead of having to jump. Okay. Now you can actually get rid of your oak fence and your string, and you can bring out your quartz slabs and stairs. Come back to this great concrete that you placed, the first two of the build, and on the first one that you placed, go right with five quartz stairs. You should connect to the fourth dark oak plank moving backwards. Bring up the court stairs by two rows. And the gray concrete. 
by three rows. Bring it across and bring the dark oak wall upwards by three. So therefore it is the height currently. We'll have to extend it more. But we'll just do three layers for now. So. Ow, my nose hurts. Anyways, enough of randomness aside. Ooh, let me get my photos because I need my photos. This one is the one that I need. Okay. So, and of course, right when I'm changing it a comment, are you build? Are you build a house? Yes, I am building a house. I will show you the house. It is this house. So, on top of this great concrete here, these five, you're gonna bring it up by one. And forwards by two rows because that's the number. Yes, it is. Oops. There you go. Now, bring up this dark oak row by six. Wow, this house is so cool. Thanks, Lord Gamer. M. M. O. Hen, maybe. Bring this up by six rows. I believe. Yeah, that seems correct. Because. Yeah, that is correct. The entire dark oak wall. Because. You know. You gotta have a lot of wood in a build. Just kidding. You can use any wood you like. I like dark oak the best. Because it looks the coolest. But, you know, use oak, birch, spruce, jungle acacia. That's the only ones I can think of because... This, is that all? Did I catch them all? I think I did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mushroom wood. Because <laughs> that's going to be a thing now. Okay. Anyways, come to the, you know, little gray concrete that's poking out here. And on the front right-hand corner... I'm gonna go left and place five black stained glass pane and a great concrete. Copy that row two more times. And you can place two rows of great concrete on top of this. Just like that. Place two rows behind the little very le oops, the very left row. That failed miserably. That's okay. And this middle section here, you can bring it up by five rows four darn whatever oh you can actually bring this back another row because i didn't realize you needed to do that but you do then you can fill this wall here too with white concrete because yes now this picture nope this picture come to the you know little porch area and on top of these white concrete here you're gonna place black stained glass paint at the front and going backwards on the left by after you place the front one by six five whatever okay okay so come to come behind this black stained glass paint and place a white concrete moving towards the right you're gonna place another one four black stained glass paint and two white concrete now moving forward from that, pl place a black stained glass pane. Leave a cap of one and place another one. You can copy this, f you know, inside row two more times. And on the second row, you can connect the two little black stained glass panes that are chilling out over here together. Oops. And place a row of white concrete on top of this. We will have to place more rows, but... That is where we will be for now. This is the one that I wanted. Okay. Come to the left side and place one row at the bottom. And moving front to back, you're gonna place four black stained glass panes. Please not delete this stream because I go to bed. I'm Turkish, goodbye. I will not delete this stream because I always have literally every stream that I've ever done on this channel still. Okay, four black stained glass panes and move backwards with the rest of the row with white concrete. Copy that row one more time. I need my pictures because if I can't, if I don't use my pictures, then I will literally explode. 
because my memory will have a faulty wire and it's gonna explode. Place the white god grid on top of this, and again, we'll be placing more of the white god grid. But that's all we're doing for now. Okay, come to the back and place the of white god grid. Now place. I can't see that number. Hang on. That's what I thought it was. Four white concrete moving left across the back of the build. Four black stained glass paid. Two white concrete. Four black stained glass paid. And three white concrete. Nope, that's wrong. The window should be three, shouldn't they? Yes. So four white concrete. Three black stained glass paid. Two white concrete. Three black stained glass paid. And five white concrete. Copy that one one more time. Sorry about that, another mistake. Oops, just didn't want to do that. Okay, you can place one more white card grid on top of this for now. Okay, so we have the first floor established and a little bit of the second floor. And that is kind of its own little thing, but you can, let me get the picture, hang on. This one? Yes. You're gonna wanna place on this row of five here, you're gonna place five Lex and Russ pins. Ooh. What? I feel like I bamboozled something. No, I didn't. Place four. It's only four. I'm stupid. I ain't bamboozle anything. Hello, one person. That's nice, Meredith Riley. Anyways, on the left row, you want to bring it up by four. And you can bring it, oh my, you can bring it left by, like, I'm gonna guess, I think it's seven. And you can move it backwards and connect to the wall. Now you have this random shape, which is fine. And, you're gonna place another wall of white concrete on top of this inside layer. See, see lamp maybe? Trap music. Okay. And fill in this section right here with white concrete. Only bring it to that white concrete pole that we bought all the way up to the ceiling and then around. Whoa. Oh, that should be one taller, shouldn't it? Yeah, nope, this should be one lower. I'm an idiot. What? What have I done? I have done something goofy here. Oh, I see what I did. This is one too low. This black stained glass paint, oof. Wait, it, sh it is, isn't it? It should be in line with the second row. So yeah, it was one too long, I'm an idiot. So then this one's to be one higher. Sorry about the, all the mistakes, guys. It's just, it's a hard build and I'm not sophisticated enough to do a tutorial on idiot stuff or, or good stuff like this. Place a whole black stained glass pane on, around the outer rim of this, just like that, and you can connect it to the corner. I'm 100% sure that that is correct, because I did my research. Just kidding. Now, place, I think it's two, no, it's three. Place three was a black stained glass pane moving backwards. It should be a five by three? Six by three, I think that's a six by three. Yes, that's a six by three. Okay, that's what I thought it was, but I'm gonna place white concrete all the way around this. I wasn't sure if that was correct, and it was. Good to know. Okay. I need to find the picture that I want again, because, yeah, I'm going all over the place. This is the one that I want. Okay. Come inside here and place a little of white concrete to the left, and on the bottom of the back side. Now, moving from left to right now, on the second one, you're gonna place Five black stained glass pane. Is that five? Because that's hard to sell. No, it's it's four. Four black stained glass pane. And two white concrete. I'm gonna mute this phone. The other one's still going, but I can't do anything about that. 
Copy that well one more time. You know what? You can just shut up, dumb fun. Okay. In this three wide gap, you want to rim it with black stained glass panes, except for on the bottom. Now, place a row of, okay. Place light gray concrete from this thingy here going off. The, from, okay, from this white, from this black stained glass pane doorway to the end of the black stained glass pane here. Plus a white concrete roll behind the gray concrete. I'm pretty sure, can I mute you again? Maybe I can, or maybe I can't. I can't mute the dumb. Ah, why do you do this to me, phone? Anyways. Place three light gray concrete behind, another roll backwards, and place three black stained glass pane on the left and right row, or the front and back row of light gray concrete. Connect them together. And you can place a little white concrete behind this and on top of it, if I can actually place, that would be appreciated. So on the back here, you're gonna place a row on the bottom and the top, and also the left and right. Now I know this by heart because, yeah, I know it's a two by two window and I know it should be directly centered. Spoiler alert, you should fill in the middle with black stained glass pane. Now we have the front completely done. Well, not really. We still have the quartz slabs to place, but that'll be saved for later. Come to the the left side, and you want to place two two more rows of white concrete on top. It is two. I'm pretty sure. I hope it is. And come to the back and move forward and place four black stained glass pane. Rest of the wall wants to be white concrete, and you can copy that wall one more time. And place a little white concrete on top of this. That's 100% correct because it lines up, the height of it lines up with the front, so therefore it is correct. Come to the back of the build, which has a lot of windows, actually. A little bit of a secret. You want to take this black stained glass pane, these four, and you want to bring it back across the back of the build by three. And you can place white concrete above it and below it. Now place one row to the left of this, or the right if you're inside the build. And the next, and the two rows above the rest of the back, one to be white concrete because we need to get to sort that. Now moving from, I guess the, moving from the left side if you're on the inside, right side. Moving towards the dark oak plank section. You're gonna place three black stained glass pane, two white concrete, three black stained glass pane, and five white concrete. And you can copy that wall one more time. If I can place, that would be very appreciated. I can't place, that, that's great. Ah, pains, oh my god, you have a pain. Mm? This is literally making me salty right now. And my phone turned off, and I gotta check the um, comment, because I, I do know what to do from here, I hope. Hi, Lauren Donald, maybe. And place a little white concrete on top of this. Wow, I am having issues in this video today, but that's okay. No, it's looking a little bit naked. Uh, I mean, it is. It has no roof, and yeah, you might want to solve that. You can fill the roof with black stained glass blocks if you would like, but I will show you my alternative. Come to, I guess, the front left-hand corner on this little weird shapey thingy. And you can place a quartz slab that is diagonally up. And just go around the whole building with it. And just kind of take it in the building shape. Except for at the front and the back. So but do you have Discord? I don't know. Simple answer. No. Don't do it on the dark oak at the um, back. The, this one row here. Just make it go directly on top of it. I mean, unless you want to make it shape weird. Or you can just make it over in the back by two. But you, can, you want to overhang it on the right by one. But once you get to this um, porch section here, you want to just bring the quartz slabs across. So you're going to want to fill in that whole roof spot with quartz slabs. Now, fill in the whole roof with quartz slabs, except for this section right here. 
where the black stained glass block is and one row of white concrete wants to be exposed around it. So you see the quartz slabs, all of that shape wants to be filled in. I will do this and I will show you how it works. So. I don't really care, Twitter, okay? You know what? I'm never on you, so that's just some random Twitter notification on my phone because my phone does that. Gives me notifications I don't really care about. That's great. Okay. Oops, I, oh, I placed it there. That's probably my issue. Yeah, this is kind of a tedious part, but you know what? Every building has a tedious part, doesn't it? I hope I didn't place one where I didn't want to play. I probably did. No, I didn't, or did I? Whatever, it doesn't matter. There's only some random model in a random world of mine that's really random, but. Yeah, that's a lot of random. So, it's... Yep. It is... Wow, this video's been like 20 minutes. Congratulations to me. Why are my, why are my tutorials getting longer? Okay, clear everything. And that's your c tutorial complete. Here's a roof view again, so you can see what I have done. And that is going to end this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And now I have two of it in my world, of course. Anyways, have a fantastic rest of your day. And I just I add this into the playlist because I have to do that. That's a thing. One, two. There we go. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.